I want to start off today with a story that I find hilarious, which is the Connors. If you haven't seen the Connors, you're like me and many others. First of all, I don't own a television. Second of all, I'm personally not supporting Roseanne without Roseanne. Sounds like a bad time to me. Sounds like a hamburger without a burger. I don't know. That was a bad example. But anyway, the Connors is on television. Of course, not getting as high of ratings, but I don't think they're doing too bad. We'll see. What I'm talking about with the Connors is how unaware that the media is. This just shows how goofy uh, the media is. So they did apparently an episode about Halloween and PC culture. So I'm going to read you two back-to-back -back headlines and you can have a laugh with me before we get serious. The first one says, the Connors ask if PC culture is destroying Halloween. Um, hmm. The Connors ask if PC is PC culture is destroying Halloween. Let's ask the Connors since they're, they're such experts on PC culture. What else is PC culture destroying? Well, it destroyed Roseanne because they took Roseanne out of Roseanne because of tweet. It's destroying comedy. It's destroying the country. It's destroying the world. But uh, <laughs> somehow this news source thinks the Connors ask if PC culture is destroying Halloween. They're so unaware. Literally, they're the PC culture like spokespeople now. They can't even have the star of their show on the on the screen because of a tweet. But somehow they're gonna lecture us on PC culture. No, thank you. Uh, turn off. But uh, the second thing is, someone wrote an article and the headline was the Connor shows way more political awareness than Roseanne in the Halloween episode. <laughs> The Connors shows way more political awareness than Roseanne ever did in the Halloween episode. <laughs> so someone thought it was a good idea. Like, that's the funniest part to me, outside of the Connors, how they took Roseanne out of Roseanne, is someone thought it was a good idea. Like, someone gets paid to do this. Like, someone actually gets paid. They go into work. They drink their coffee. They, you know, they're like, mm, what are we going to write about today? And then they look at themselves in the mirror and they actually believe themselves, or maybe they don't, maybe they know. And then they're like, the Connors shows way more political awareness than Roseanne in the Halloween episode when they're talking about PC culture in the show and the show is the biggest culprit of being PC. Like they're like, oh, PC culture is so whack. Man, it's totally whack, isn't it? Is it ruining Halloween? I don't know, the Connors, did it ruin your show? And so and then the, the people writing these articles, they just really think it's a really great idea to just like, they're so unaware. It's like, I could talk about this all day. I'm gonna move on to the next one. I, <laughs> they're talking about PC culture in a Roseanne episode and it's way better than the original, man. They're so aware of what they're doing. They're so aware. It's like, no, you're not aware. You're so not aware that you're writing articles about awareness when you're not aware talking about a show's not aware that's literally talking about a subject that they're the biggest culprits of acting like they're the Gandhi of the topic. I mean, it's just, I'm just gonna start laughing because crying didn't work, uh, sitting in bed for five hours being depressed doesn't work. So I'm just gonna laugh at whatever, whatever this delusion is. It's hilarious. God bless the Connors. God bless Roseanne. No, I'm not tuning in. The next 